What's up beautiful people and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Crystal and this is Bond Book Reviews. If you haven't already subscribed I would love to have you do so the buttons down below I'd love to have you join the family. Today though we are going to be jumping into another Fable Crate unboxing. If you're unfamiliar with what the Fable Crate is, the Fable Crate is a Australian book box, com book box YA company that does uh, YA fantasy boxes based on YA fandoms. Uh, they have some really cool stuff in here and then they also have a custom book that has been picked usually from a indie author or fairly new author up and coming uh, with a custom dust jacket, sprayed edges. It's, it's gorgeous every time I am yet to be um, disappointed. So this is our January Fable Crate box. But before we jump into the January one, I just wanted to show you some of the awesome books we've received last year in some of the boxes in case you missed out and new, haven't seen them around. Um, just so you can see the kind of books and quality that you're going to be getting. Uh, I will also have the playlist of all of my Fable Crate unboxings listed down below. I was a rep with them when they first came out and I have stayed with them as a loyal subscriber after my rep uh, window was over because I just have loved every single box that has arrived. So let's have a look at some of the other books that have arrived and then we'll jump into January's Fable Crate box, which is Battle for Tomorrow. The box they released was a small book called Welcome to Blackwood. It had gorgeous frayed edges and a beautiful uh, like naked cover. It was amazing. It was a great first box that they gave us and it was a really good story too. I really enjoyed that one. And they have grown ever since then. So now we're getting things like this and this and this with beautiful sprayed edges and gorgeous reversible dust jackets. So each dust jacket comes with the ability to kind of reverse it with like a beautiful like quote inside, beautiful embossing on the front cover. It's just great. Um, you always have something amazing coming in the box along with those uh some amazing props that I've received that I use on a regular basis would be my money box. Also, I have an apron that I use every time that I cook in the kitchen. Uh, there's been beautiful candles that smell amazing. There's just so much stuff in these boxes. I, yeah, it's been a really good time. So let's jump into Battle for Tomorrow, which is the January one, the first one in the new year of 2022 for the Fable Co box. Uh, some of the fandoms included in this box include... Red Rising, Aurora Rising, June, Skyward. It was very like sci-fi inspired box, this one. So let's jump in and see what's in there because I haven't opened it. It's been sitting there teasing me since it arrived a week ago. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and film. Okay, so we have plenty of goodies in here, as always. Um, I tend to try not to look at the spoiler card unless I absolutely have no idea what fandom it is, which is like nine times out of ten. So I guarantee that this is 100% Aurora Rising based. Uh, it is a iron-on patch by the looks of that. So you can put that on like any item of clothing so that you can be part of the Aurora Legion, uh, which I think is really cool, um, unique and like usable. And it, rather than it coming on an item that, that you have to use, you can pick where you want to put it. So that's really handy. And yeah, it's just iron-on. So you pretty much just put it on, put a piece of... Um, like parchment paper over the top, iron it, and then it'll stick to whatever you've ironed it to. So that is really cool and unique. I haven't seen anything like that in a book box that I've come across so far. Next, we have a Claim the Stars lip balm, which is made from the Fable Crate itself, which um, the owner of the Fable Crate also has used to have a business called Raz Candles, but she's combined them now. So a lot of the com a lot of the products like the candles and lip glosses and things are made in-house by the Fable Crate, which is really, really cool as well. Um, so Clean the Stars, I'm thinking that is the Skyward lip gloss. Smells fruity, I guess you could say. I love her lip glosses. They are always a plus. I carry, and they're so little, they fit in your handbag so well. So I've already gone through like three of these. I have them on a regular basis in my handbag. So I'm glad I'm getting another one because my one is about to run out. We have a candle which says break the chains and it's cinnamon spice. Ooh, I don't mind that. It kind of smells like uh, cinnamon spiced cookies, but like not too sweet. It's kind of got like that um, citrus undertone maybe, I don't know. But yeah, it's not too sweet. So I do like that. Break the chains though, I don't know what that's from. Oh, 
it's Red Rising, which I haven't read yet. Each month you get a bookish pin that comes in the box. So this month's pin is a Valkyrie Book Club, which is obviously Sarah J Maas book inspired. It's not my favorite pin from Read the Right Act, but I do like the fact that it looks like a book. Um, I'm just not a huge Valkyrie fan. So other than that there, I'll still use it. I'll still add it to my collection, but last month's is my favorite. If you didn't see last month, there was an Empire of the Vampire pin and it was like phenomenal. But yeah, there we go. That's this month's pin. We have a little baggie here and it says, and a little something to boldly go into battle for tomorrow. I'm thinking that that's, also Aurora Rising. Okay, it looks as though this um, may be something that's replaced an item that was going to be in the box because what's on the cheat card and what's here seems to be different. Um, it was going to be a reusable straw by the looks of the cheat card, but what it is instead is a little A pin which I'm pretty sure is the same as the Aurora region. I like, I think that they're both from the same fandom um, and it's just a pin. I don't know whether they're meant to be together or if that was to replace the other item that I can't see in this box. Um, maybe it's like fallen down the bottom, who knows? But yeah, there's mention of a reusable straw, so, but there's not mention of that pin. So I'm thinking that's what might, that's, might be what's happened is they've had to replace it last minute because of COVID shipping stuff or whatnot. Uh, we also have these, which are um, paper clips in the shape of planets. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a planet paper clip. I think that's really cool. I will definitely use those. Um, I will probably use it to tab some of my favorite quotes in um, like the Aurora Rising Cycle or I do have a new book coming soon, which is a sci-fi that I might use it for. Otherwise, they just look cool. <laughs> so yeah, they won't go to waste in an office environment for sure. As always, we have our little squidgies, which I always throw on the floor and then regret doing that later, but that's fine. Ooh, okay. Uh, the spice must flow. It is a Moroccan spice mix, which I am going to guess is June related because... June is like the sci-fi that everyone's talking about at the moment. Yeah, it's June related. Uh, so I love a good spice. I haven't been able to eat much spice since I've been pregnant, but if it's not too spicy, I might like put it on some chicken and like turn it into wraps or something. Can never go wrong with some Moroccan spice. It doesn't really have like any instructions on what you have to use it on. So I'm pretty sure you can use it as a rub or spice in like anything really. We have a tote bag which is every book lover's friend, which is a Wheel of Time related one by the looks of it. It says, run when you have, have to, fight when you must, rest when you can. Legends fade, myth, and even my myth long, wait, hold on. Legends fade to myth, and even myth is long forgotten. And then it says, turns, ages come and pass. I have not read the Wheel of Time series. I do not have the ability to commit to that but i will probably watch the tv series and call it a day but i do like the tote bag green's my favorite color so yes that will definitely get used when i go to book fairs and things like that now we have the book which as always is gorgeous it is cold the night and fast the wolves by meg long obviously this cover will look not familiar at all you will probably recognize this cover. There is a letter from the author, as well as a signed book plate that comes with every single book that comes in a Fable Crate book box. So we have a stunning cover with blue matching blue sprayed edges, which of course is going to be reversible. I think I prefer the inside cover. I think I'm gonna reverse that around. I think I prefer that cover. And then underneath we have the naked cover, which has just got your silver down the side and then a quote on the front that says, cold is the night that falls, yet fast is the wolves that race the storm. Oh, just gets better and better every month, I swear. 
All right, I'm gonna turn this inside out and see how we go putting the alternate dust jacket on. Hmm. Now it's on, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It still looks great, obviously, but I think I prefer the, the outside one now that I've got it on. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with that one. Okay, so let's find out about this book together. After angering a local gangster, 17-year-old Sina Caution must flee with her prize-fighting wolf, Iska, in tow. A team of scientists offer to pay her way off her frozen planet on one condition. She gets them to the finish line of the planet's infamous sled race. Though Sina always swore she'd never race after it claimed both her mother's lives, it's now her only option. But the tundra is a tetris place and the race unfolds and their lives are threatened in every turn. Sina starts to question her own abilities. She must discover whether she's strong enough to survive the wild, whether she and Iska together are strong enough to get them out, all out alive. A captivating debut about survival, found family and the bond between girl and wolf that delivers a fresh twist of classic survival stories and frontier myths. I... You know what vibe this is giving me? is um like the valley of the horses um book two in the can't remember the name of the series but um the, the clan of the cave bear series number two valley of the horses where she has to like survive in the wilderness with her animal we'll see i think it's gonna be good um it's not very long which is good as well so yeah we'll jump in i trust fable crate i haven't been upset by a book they've recommended and put in their boxes yet so fingers crossed um but yeah that's pretty much it for me just a quick little unboxing for the day uh the fable crate uh pay website will be linked down below so you can go check it out if you would like to join and uh check out the instagram for some rep codes if you want some discounts uh but until next time guys thank you so much for watching if you have made it this far and you don't have a comment to leave then drop a wolf emoji in the comments down below and happy reading